విజయవాడలోని సుందరయ్య నగర్ భారీ పేరుడు కలకలం సృష్టించింది విజయవాడ సుందరయ్య నగర్ ఒక్కసారిగా ఉలిక్కిపడింది ఈ తెల్లవారుజామున భారీ శబ్దంతో జరిగిన పేలుడుతో What started as a normal morning for Pastor Danny Mika Padma Rao in a flash turned into the most terrifying day of his life. He thought this was the end of his life, but it was just the beginning of his miraculous encounter with the man from Jerusalem. My name is uh, Pastor Daniel. I come from India. I'm the branch director for India, ICJ. I can tell before that uh, I am alive. now and uh, uh, it's a second life to me which god has given to me on 28th november uh, 2016 i left israel after the feast and uh, after i woke up at 6 uh, o'clock after i finished all the things i tried to switch on my laptop and uh, uh, the spark came and my kitchen it's blown by the gas and the two story building it fell down and the neighbors the six houses the roofs all it blown up and then i was alone in the room and uh, the totally the room was dark i i unable to see anything and the flames coming to me i was praying to jesus and jesus help me take me from this uh, room and uh, then it took me uh, 15 minutes to come to the street i changed three hospitals finally 9:30 with that burnings uh, i i went to the one of the hospital and then they started giving the treatment So three days I was in the hospital a struck unable to move my fingers and uh, the legs and the fourth day early morning one man he appeared in my vision he told me why you are crying and then I I was uh, I asked him uh, who are you and then he told me mm, I know you from Jerusalem so what you want now tell me and then I said if you are from Jerusalem I want <laughs> I want to move my fingers and legs I want to walk right now doctor said it takes 6 months here and then he said come on start right now then i started moving my fingers which struck 3 days and then the same early morning i was walking in the room and the, all the nurses and the other patients they came to see me see me pastor is walking in the room and that happened in the fourth day and i lost my head my mustache my eyebrows everything totally ash After God has visited me I build my faith myself I was very strong in faith and the fifth day they peeled all the dead skin 4 kilos of the skin came out and eighth day new skin started to forming and 15th day my hair grew and the doctor came and he was shocked then what's going on in your body and then I asked the doctor I want please discharge me and then he said uh no i should stay but ninth day he discharged me from the hospital to home nearly 14 muslim families after i went to the home they came to the lord and my church and my all the uh, local pastors churches their faith grown up after they see me i am alive because jesus is alive so this happened in my life i am here alive thinking and praying a lot why this happened in my life uh, what is the reason uh, is it a demon attack or what is this god has given me and he took me through one of the challenge uh, to carry his testimony to his, to the people so right now i am ready to do anything for god which he given to me a second life yeah and also uh, as a director uh, for icj um many icj representatives in india each state uh, when they heard immediately with the because of the relation of icj they they flew to me and they came to me and they blessed me with the offering and they prayed for me all all the icj staff different part of the states that's unbelievable because of the connection and the heart of icj Pastor Danny stepped into a new life. He promptly began sharing his incredible testimony with his congregation and all throughout India and the world. Uh, 
very happy uh, not just to continue my life uh, with the family and the, with the ministry but uh, after this happened in my life uh, I want to do uh, something for the glory of God for the kingdom of God on this earth uh, I want to carry his testimony all the way all the days of my life that's my um, vision right now.